Gucci belt, Louis belt. Tell him to bend down and say, Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Gucci belt, Louis belt. Tell him to bend down and say, Got him, got him, got him, got him. And she bought it called LD, aka, you know, bra. West Africa, sit down all day. know that more than 100,000 African immigrants live in New York City? Discover the lifestyles of Africans living and working in the city. Africa in the city. Real Africans, real stories. New York is so amazing, right? I mean, the food, the nightlife, the shopping. Oh my God, the shopping is such a big deal here. Oh, you know, those fake designer bags that everybody wants. Prada, Gucci, Chanel, Louis Vuitton. But really, have you ever thought about that whole industry and how it all goes down, the people behind it? There are a lot of Africans right here in New York who've made a serious business off selling purses. Anyway. I'm on Canal Street right now in Chinatown. Come with me as I make a purchase. Because it's illegal to sell knockoff bags, most of these sellers are not comfortable with being on camera. So we decided to film from far away. Hey, you guys know where I can find like um, some bags? Yeah, I got it. I mean, like China. Chanel, maybe? Yeah. Only Chanel you want? You got Gucci? You got Gucci? I got some Gucci, Louis, different ones. Let me try Louis. Yeah. Do you buy fake designer bags? No. I'm I sorry. Don't. No, I don't. Uh, so you buy the real deal? Yes, uh, the real deal. <laughs> oh, Michael Kors, how much did you pay for that bag? A good 200 and some change. I don't remember, but yeah, I buy the. I don't buy fake stuff. If I don't have the money for it, I just don't buy it. I don't have to act like I do. I wanted to stop you because I saw you had a coach bag, and I just wanted to first start off and ask you if it's, if it's a real bag. Did you buy it from the coach store? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, it's not real. It shouldn't be sold. Like, if you're gonna get, uh, if you're gonna get a purse that's like real, you should get like the real one. You shouldn't buy the fake one. I think that it's like, there's, there's no reason to buy the. There's no like reason to really buy the fake one. I would buy a knockoff. I yeah, I would buy an, yeah no, I don't have that kind of money to get a designer. <laughs> Even though the ladies here are kind of mean when they sell them to you, you know. Here but in New York or back in Kentucky? New York, <laughs> New York. Do they have this? In, do they have it in Kentucky? They no. This is, people come here and buy the purses and then go back to Kentucky and sell them. So if you get them and they're knocked out there, they were bought in Chinatown or something. Why is this guy taking so long though? No, he ain't taking long. He coming now. Yeah, work together. Yeah, he's sending Galis. He's sending Galis too. Yeah, he's okay. sending. While I waited, I was given a catalog to check out all of the different types of bags. There are a lot of African guys over here who are kind of in that business. What do you think about the fact that they're the ones that are selling it? Well, every time I come over here and I see them selling it, I feel like they're like really scared to sell them because they're always in the corners. And then a lot of people try to like buy it from them, but they really can't like, like they sometimes they have it out and like a whole bunch of people will buy them and then you believe that like they buy like you believe that that person will buy like the real purses but then at the end of the day they're really buying the fake purses so you can't really tell which person has the real purse or the fake purse people make money in different ways so if that's what they want to do they can sell it but that's the people that's buying it so the people is helping them pay their bills right. at the end of the day well the knockoff purses thing it's like really big in this neighborhood it has been for like a really long time 
and you can't really get upset about it because the economy in America right now is so crappy and people are like pretty much selling their souls to just be able to you know provide for their families so you can't really knock people like trying to make a buck it shouldn't be allowed man you can't be rocking be out here rocking fake purses and stuff like that it's just not you know you, you gotta have your swag up man if you out here you know with a fake purse somebody call you out on that you're gonna be looking a little short out here I still was not convinced by this, so I decided to persuade someone to take me to the actual warehouse. This is a new type, the new style? Yeah, they come with long strap and everything inside the bag. The long strap is inside? How much? Three forty-five. You got um, Chanel though. Yeah. This is not a game. You want you want to buy it or you playing? Can I? Again? No one's playing, man. Come on now. I just want to see. You if you, see? I want to see so I can see if I'm gonna buy. Cause you it might not be quality. So how much would you, what's your limit on the price you would buy for a real For bag? me purchasing it myself, I would go up to maybe 800, but my boyfriend would go up to a couple G's. Hey, and what about you? <laughs> Same thing, I mean, I have Louis, um, Gucci. I mean, I would go up to about 2,000, so. Can you tell me like how you got in this whole business? Uh, actually, I started like uh, back in the day, 2004. Uh, the main reason I started is because of my friend. I was going uh, 28 and 7 Avenue for school, and I met my friend down there. At that time, I used to work with a Jews guy. Jewish. I, yeah, Jews guy that I used to work like seven days, and he used to pay me like $200. So when I met my friend down there, uh, he introduced me to one Chinese guy. and. Uh, uh, started and there. it started from there. Do you think it's worth the money that they're selling the brands that they have out here? Obviously not, because brands spend a lot of money, kind of you know solidifying their their you know their their logo, their you know what what makes you think about polo or what makes you think about you know. A, so you don't have a, any female friend that maybe carries a, a Louis Vuitton or a Gucci bag. That's, you know what? It's a good question. If it's fake, I don't know, because it all depends on the person. If you never see them buy it, you know, you'll see a, a Gucci bag on someone. You're like, all right, they look like they probably could afford it. So they're rocking it. You're not going to be like, let me see the inside of your, of your sleeve to see the whatever. You're going to just take it for what it is. But you see some bum person wearing it, and you're like, I know that's not a bag because. So you know, they probably came out here and bought a bag. Right. Exactly. So how do I look? I got my Louis Vuitton bag. Anyway, let's go to the actual real Louis Vuitton store to compare price and quality. I actually need some help. Mm -hmm. I had a friend purchase this bag for me mm -hmm. and I actually don't believe that it's the real deal mm -hmm. and I'm trying to figure out if it is and if you guys can help me determine. Um, so we don't offer authentication on bags. Um, you're more than welcome to take a look at one of ours and compare. Okay. I'm looking at so the L like and the V. It's untreated leather so I mean it, it changes color um, but I mean you can even see like the size of the hand. Right, the handles are tinier. The bag is, is different. Like this, this is not how we finish our product. So. We were able to see the differences with the real Louis bag costing $885 and the fake one only 40 bucks. Do you think there's a difference between like wearing a fake bag and a real bag? I mean, is there a real, a real difference? Sometimes you can't Some people tell. can't tell, but some people really can't tell, but it's really not that much difference, but you know what you're wearing though. You know if it's fake or real. But if some people go around and be like, yeah, I got a Louis bag, but they really know it's fake though. But for the people that are selling, you say, I don't knock the hustle? 
I don't knock a hustle. People got to do what they got to do in America, right, to get some money. I, I don't knock anyone who does it just for me. Like, I won't wear a fake bag, but I wear fake, I, I wear fake jewelry. <laughs> It is a lot of money, but it's money that I work, and if I feel like I like something, I'm going to save my money, and I take my time and save it, and then I go buy my bag, you know what I mean? I just don't go spend it on my paycheck and then be broke. I take my time and put my money down. I even calculate it and see how much it will be with tax and everything. Yes, I go that far because I buy my own bags. <laughs> I bought this bag um, on Canal Street. Does it look like it's a quality bag, or do you have things that might look better than this? Do you work okay, with this that are this than is this? this is good, but we got things like more qualities than this because this bag I could tell you didn't pay a lot of money for it, but we have some that you could pay like for four hundred dollars stuff like that. Really? Yeah, but that one is gonna be like almost the same thing as the. You cannot, you cannot really tell the difference. It's the same thing as the one that's As the one in the store, yeah. And you have access to that? Yeah, we have. So the there's a difference. You there's have difference. bags that are like top, top Yeah, quality. it's like a high quality, you know what I'm saying? Top and down. So you're my man to come to when I want the top, top quality bags, right? Yeah, come with a lot of money and I got you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So you definitely would rather buy a knockoff brand and go into the store? Absolutely. I would rather support uh, someone trying to make an honest living than corporations trying to rob people. So now, tell me, what do you do? Do you support these guys out here hustling real hard just to sell these fake designer products? Or do you really spend thousands of dollars just to have a designer handbag? I mean, let's think about it. Seriously. Everyone wants to feel good and look good, but the reality of life Sometimes it's just not that simple, but I guess to each his own. Africa in the city, real Africans, real stories. I got an African, African, African swag. I'ma show you what I'm, what I'm, what I'm about. Make money, get pop, that's what I'm about. I got the African, African swag. I got.